just like a child who trusts his father dear and who delights to feel his presence near just like a child whose mind has not a doubt and whose heart is never proud here i come and here i come oh lord oh lord here i come just like a child here i come and here i come oh lord oh lord here i come just like a child in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all and with your spirit dear friends during this season of lent especially on thursdays we are reflecting on the theme taken from the sermon on the mount the theme for our reflection is today's reflection is detachment in the gospel we are all of us, all of us are invited to enter through the narrow gate that is life of detachment in order to attach our lives to god we have to detach from many things and this is an invitation from the lord himself to have the spirit of detachment so that all of us may attain eternal life and as we celebrate this eucharist let's pray to the lord ask the grace of the lord so that we may have the spirit of detachment now to celebrate this sacred mysteries in a worthy manner let's call to our mind all our sins and failures and ask him pardon from the lord let's pray together i confess to almighty god and to you, my brothers and sisters that i have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words in what i have done and what i have failed to do through my fault through my fault through my most grievous fault therefore i ask blessed mary of worship all the angels and saints and to you my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the lord our god may almighty god have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. We implore your majesty most humbly O Lord that as the feast of our salvation draws ever closer so we may press forward all the more eagerly towards the worthy celebration of the paschal mystery. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah. These were my orders. Listen to my voice, then I will be your God, and you shall be my people. Follow right to the end the way that I mark out for you, and you will prosper but they did not listen they did not pay attention they followed the dictates of their own evil hearts refused to face me and turn their backs on me from the day your ancestors came out of the land of egypt until today day after day i have persistently sent you all my servants the prophets but they have not listened to me have not paid attention they have grown stubborn and behaved worse than their ancestors you may say all these words to them they will not listen to you you may call them they will not answer so tell them this here is the nation that will not listen to the voice of the lord its god not take corrections sincerity is no more it has vanished from their mouths the word of the lord great and dear are your works o lord
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Enter through the narrow gate. For the gate is wide and the road is easy that leads to destruction. And there are many who take it. For the gate is narrow and the road is hard that leads to life. And there are few who find it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, as I said in the introduction, during this season of Lent, on Thursdays we are reflecting on a particular theme taken from the Sermon on the Mount, that is Gospel of Mark, Gospel of Matthew, chapter 5. 6 and 7. The themes are chosen from these passages. Today we are reflecting on the theme enter through the narrow gate. Enter through the narrow gate which symbolizes detachment. Detachment. And this invitation is given by the Lord himself to enter through the narrow gate. This is a short story which I read as, was, as, was, as I was preparing my reflection. There was a rich man. He had everything. He had everything. His own business. He had a farmland. Uh, owned luxurious cars. Huge mansion. And he can go on narrating. All the wealth he had. But he had a small problem. He had a trouble. He had a problem. The problem is this. Whenever he heard a little bad news, he used to get into depression. Maybe about his business, about the farm, about uh, his luxurious cars and so on. He used to get into depression. And that was really worrying him. And he was seeking for an answer, solution to this problem, trouble of his. He consulted many people and they gave so many suggestions. You do breathing exercise and all that. Some said you have to do yoga, others said uh, you have to go on a vacation and others said take off and go somewhere else spend good time and so on but that did not give him satisfaction that did not solve his problem so he went to and sage he went to consult and sage a guru a religious leader sage sannyasi and he told him this is my trouble this is my problem what shall I do and that guruji said he gave him four words. Four words. And he told him, write this in your bedroom. Write these words at the entrance of your gate. Write these words at the doorpost of your office. Write these words in your car. Write these words at the gate of your farmland. Write these words everywhere. So that whenever you 
whenever you pass that way those words should be seen by you and he did the same after that this rich man was very happy these you know little bad things did not disturb him he was not disturbed psychologically his inner peace was not disturbed what are those words can you guess what are those words am i clear am i audible uh, what are those words any guess i want to involve you in this reflection because i see some of you are tired maybe after uh, the office hours after working and all that you are here you are filled with the warmth of the lord though it is warm outside we are also warm within warmth of the love of the lord so anyhow any answers yeah which are they i i, I didn't get it ah yeah what are those words no she answered nicely she she is very courageous what is your good name i didn't get zinia zinia she had the courage to stand and answer very good any answers the words are everything will pass away everything will pass away and this sermon also will pass away all of us will pass away isn't it everything will pass away everything will pass away just imagine who is sitting next to you will pass away all these things will pass away let us apps will pass away let us games will pass away let us series of mobiles will pass away let us sarees will pass away let us skirts will pass away let us homes will pass away let us designs will pass away everything will pass away let us cars will pass away let us uh let us style will pass away all latest things will pass away the brothers and sisters everything will pass away just imagine one day we too will pass away therefore the lord invites us if you want to reach somewhere after passing away enter through the narrow gate when you enter through a narrow gate can you carry all your luggage can you carry we are not able to carry because only we can enter through the narrow gate therefore here the spiritual meaning is enter through the narrow gate it means if you want to reach eternal life that life symbolizes eternal life enter through the narrow gate give up what we should give up what we should give up should be on the roads should be on the should we stay on the streets no there are so many things we are attached to unless i give up those things i will find it hard to enter eternal life therefore to understand this take the take a beautiful example from the gospel of luke chapter 18 a young ruler a rich ruler comes and asks jesus jesus i want to attain eternal life good master good teacher i want to eter- attain eternal life what must i do jesus tells him you know it follow the commandments oh i have been following these commandments for my childhood and i faithfully i have been f- faithfully observing it but there is there is one thing you lack jesus told him yes you have you have been following all these commandments but there is one thing you lack there is something one thing you lack what is that what is that you are attached detach yourself detachment it does not mean that we have to sell all that we have but live as though you don't have it and then we will find that way that leads us to eternal life what should we give up first of all dear brothers and sisters too much attachment to things we know how we are attached i need not explain here we know how we are attached just few months ago there was a young boy he had trouble about his studies then i told the parents don't give him mobile because he is answering exams he had to prepare for his exams after 2 months he is going to write his exams 
Then I said, don't give him mobile. That evening, parents took away the mobile. And immediately I'm getting a call. Father, he's shivering. I said, he must be having fever. He said, no, after we, once we took away the mobile, he's shivering. You see? It's not a story. It's a reality. Because you're so much attached to the mobile, he felt he cannot live without it. And it became a sickness. How we detach, when we detach ourselves maybe from relationships, from friendships, what do you feel? We feel, you know, trouble. The same way, when, you, when he had to detach himself from that cell phone, he was totally lost. Then I told him, give him. Let us see whether the shivering stops. And they said, yes, it stopped. You think it's a story? It happened. It's a reality. See, I, I gave only one example. There are so many things, brothers and sisters, we are attached to. Actually, we don't need them. Just go home and open your wardrobe and you will find some old sari still in your resort and not worn for 15 years. Is it not? You'll find some things which are not used in your life. Maybe they, they might be lying there for 30, 40 years. You don't want to give up. You don't want to give up. And when you lose it, you, you, you feel really, you know, that was the thing you are holding on to and that was your life. Is it not? Actually, you are not used at all. When you give it to someone, when someone needs it, when you give, you feel as if you are given entire household to him. This is what is called attachment to things. Therefore, when that young ruler came and told Jesus, I want to follow, brother, he said, there is one thing you lack. You are a good man. There is one thing you lack. Even that one thing is holding you back. St. John of the Cross, a great Carmelite saint, a reformer of our order, he says, he speaks a lot about detachment, spiritual detachment, in spiritual life, about detachment. What we must do to have union with God, how we must give up our intellect, our memory, our will, he speaks a lot. And he tells a small story, he gives a short ref reference. He tells, a bird flies, isn't it? A bird flies. You tie a bird with a huge rope or with a thread. Can that bird fly? You can use a huge rope or a small thread. Can that bird fly? Can that bird fly? No, it cannot fly. Some of us might be attached to big things. Some of us might be attached to small little things. You cannot fly. That will not allow you to come up, rise up in your spiritual life. Attachment to things. Second, attachment to our own will. I was reading an article about uh, detachment uh, written by Mr. Eckhart, a spiritual writer, a spiritual writer. And there he says, what God wants us from me is that we give up our will. Our will. You see, in the book of Genesis, we read, Adam and Eve, they had problem with surrendering to the will of God. They couldn't give up their will. Therefore, they began to exercise their own will. But we have, in the book of Genesis, Abraham, God gave him the promised land. He blessed him because what did he do? He gave up his own will. Forget about giving up his own land. He gave up his own will. His own will, attachment to his own will. The other day on Monday, we celebrated the Feast of the Annunciation. What is that Feast of the Annunciation? Angel Gabriel came and brought the good news to Mary. That is called as the Feast of the Annunciation. And there we see, Mary said, how this can be? You know, she was attached to her own will. And he says, angel says, okay, this is the will of God. If it is the will of God, I give up my will. My will. So, this uh, writer, Mr. Eckhart, he says, God doesn't want us, he doesn't care much for our fasting, our prayers, almsgiving, all those things. It is necessary. But, he values giving up our own will to his will. And accepting his will. And that too requires detachment. Detachment. Once I give up, 
my own will and walk according to will of god i always walk through the narrow gate and that gate walking through that path is very hard each and every moment i have to make sacrifice to walk in truth and justice i continue because we don't have much time third giving up our own thinking our own thoughts take an example from the bible we have jonah prophet jonah god invited him come on jonah go to nineveh these jews and uh, ninevites they had always a problem okay they had a problem about their thinking so jonah says no no, no 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 those people will not match my thinking so i will not go and then he anyhow with all resistance jonah goes to nineveh and their ninevites changed their life but jonah still has problem with his thinking his thinking he told them you will perish and is waiting okay they should perish he couldn't give up his thought that i have cursed them they should perish he was still holding on to his own thinking to his own thoughts now walking through the narrow gate i must change my thinking pattern think as the lord thinks think according to the eternal life eternal life and that path is hard each and every moment when i do and when i do and spiritual exercise when i do my daily works when i work when i study when i live my daily life when i do each and every action of mine i must think is it helping me to attain eternal life is it helping me to attain eternal life you see to think that way it's very difficult because we have to give up our own thinking so there are so many things involved in this detachment dear brothers and sisters as we are reflecting on this theme detachment let this reflection continue as we walk through the narrow gate let this reflection continue may the lord who has invited us to walk through the narrow gate and have that spirit of detachment help us to do the same pray my dear brethren that the sacrifice that we offer may be acceptable to God your almighty father may the lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and for the good of all this holy church cleanse your people lord we pray from every taint of wickedness that their gifts may be pleasing to you and do not let them cling to false joys for you promise them the rewards of your truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks. Humble our sinful pride. Contribute to the feeding of the poor. And so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels. As with one voice of praise we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith We proclaim Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that parting of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Peter Paul our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope that is resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to eternal, we may merit to be quiet to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son. Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let's pray the prayer taught by Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And it is not temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who sit you poses, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, O Lord, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord. Be with you always and with your spirit let's offer each other the sign of peace lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us and lamb of god take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god take away the sins of the world grant us peace
Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Blessed are we who are here to receive Him. Lord, I am not, not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. We call on your loving kindness and trust in your mercy, O Lord, that since we are from you all that we are, through your grace we may seek what is right and have strength to do the good you we desire through Christ our Lord. Please kneel down. Let's do the novena. To be with the children of men is my happiness, says the Lord. Jesus lived among the people as a friend and helped them in their needs. He healed everyone who had faith in him and came to be known as a spiritual physician. Here represented as a child, he stretches out his helping hand to all those who have recourse to him. The more you honor me, the more will I bless you, says the infant Jesus of Prague. The infant Jesus, we are here to seek your blessings. We place before you all our prayers and petitions. We pray for all those people who have placed their intentions here in front of the altar. They have returned their hearts to desire, O Lord, in these petitions. You know it, O Lord, what they have returned. We pray for them. We pray for all those people whom we have promised our prayers, who are in need of our prayers. Jesus bless them. We place before you all the children. Some children have already finished the exams. Others are writing the exams. Be with them, O oh Lord. Especially touch and heal all the children who are sick or ailing. Touch them, Lord. Grant them your healing touch. We pray for all the youth. A lot of youth come over here seeking your blessings, O oh Lord. Grant them peace of mind. Bless all their intentions. Many are seeking good job, good proposal. Some are waiting for their visa. Just bless them. Bless all the youth. Especially touch the hearts of all the youth who have lost hope in their lives. 
You be their hope, O oh Lord. Fill them with your strength. Fill them with your courage. We pray for all the couple, especially those couple who find difficult to live together due to some misunderstanding. If they are thinking to go away apart from each other, Lord, keep them in your love. Help them to live together their married life. Grant them the joy of their married life, Lord. Some are praying for the gift of a child. Lord, bless them with the gift of a child. We pray for our families. Lord, grant peace and happiness to our families. Keep our families united. Some are struggling in their families, maybe due to various reasons, the fights in the family, or maybe sickness, financial troubles. Some have their court cases. Lord, Lord we place before you all the families. Grant unity, peace in our families. We pray for all the sick. When you are suffering due to various sicknesses, especially we place before you all those who are suffering due to cancer. Lord, touch and heal them. Help them to bear their pain. Some are undergoing psychological sicknesses, troubles, Lord. Fill them with your courage. Grant them your power to face the challenges that come on their way. Be, the, be with them, O oh Lord. Strengthen them, strengthen their mind. We pray for all the devotees who are here, who have come to seek your blessings. Bless them, Jesus. Not only, those, not only on Thursdays, but also during the weekdays, a lot of people come over here to seek your blessings, to experience your presence in their lives. O oh Lord, touch their hearts, touch their minds, touch their lives. You be their healer, you be their companion, O oh Lord. Today we have reflected that you have invited us to enter through the narrow gate to have the spirit of detachment. As we live our daily lives, O oh Lord, help us to live this reflection that we have we had during this Eucharistic celebration in our lives to detach from unnecessary things so that we may have union with you and attain eternal life. Placing all our prayers, we pray together, O Holy Infant Jesus, through your life on earth, you reveal to us by many marvels your hidden power. So now bless us abundantly with your uplifted hand and graciously deign to hear the petitions who call upon you in faith and trust. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And the word became flesh. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of you, Jesus. And the word became flesh. And the word became flesh. And the word became flesh. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O infant Jesus, bless us and hear our prayers. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O infant Jesus, bless us and hear our prayers. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O infant Jesus, bless us and hear our prayers. We pray together. O oh, miraculous infant Jesus, look upon us as we turn to you, imploring your assistance in our needs and anxieties. Let your compassion and heart be moved to pity by supplications and grant us the favor which we ardently implore you. Free us from all affliction and despair, all trials and misfortunes. Give us your support and consolation, good health and happiness, so that we may praise you and the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen.
the infant jesus lot of devotees have come over here they have given thanks to you for all the favors that you have granted to them along with the devotees we do thank you for all the blessings that you have showered upon us praying together oh most generous infant jesus be on our knees i have come to express our deep thankfulness to you for all the favors we have received at your hands we believe jesus that together with the father and the holy spirit you are our creator and savior as both we place all our trust in you through this miraculous statue may your devotion be spread throughout the world and may all people pay homage to your holy childhood and gain thereby untold divine blessings and favors all praise and honor be to the infant jesus amen the lord be with you may the lord jesus be with you to defend you may be with you to sustain you may he go before you to show the way may he follow you to guard you from above may he bless you and may almighty god the father and the son and the holy spirit bless you and keep you safe forever amen go for the mass is sent it thanks be to god Cross delivers the Lord from all that is evil. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. 